beauties, it's Viviana and today I'm very excited because this video is day number one of Here We Are Again. Restyle December. Hair Ja Vu. Big hair done that. I still haven't finalized the title as yet, but damn, y'all have some really good ideas. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll leave the video up in the archives where I introduce this segment and uh, yes, basically I'll be having five days of five hairstyles I've already done in the past. So for day number one of Been Hair Done That, I'll be doing a style I did way back in March 2016 when I had a tiny little afro. So I'll be following along with the tutorial and recreating the style. This is very exciting. So I'm definitely getting a early 90s kind of vibe with this brown lip and um, curly bang. Am I the only one? Ooh, look at my afro. <laughs> so I had a vision of pulling the sides back. If I just use hairpin, then it would give me more of a mohawk look. But I went for more of a tapered cut look with the entire back flat. Hope you enjoy! So first time, wait, 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 pause. I missed my intro. I really need to do a new one over. <laughs> so first I'm going to start by separating the top section of hair that I'm going to leave loose. And I'm going to pin it away with the some metal clips these metal clips are your best friend with really short hair it prevents the hair from mixing up and getting in your way good tip the back section of hair is what i'm going to be flat twisting so first so you heard the girl the first thing we're going to do is separate the front section of hair i think it started from right here I don't really use metal clips anymore i've started to use these plastic butterfly clips yeah, but when you have a TWA, trust and believe, those metal clips were a true lifesaver. <laughs> the back section of hair is what I'm going to be flat twisting. So first I'm going to make a center part so that all the hair can meet right there. And uh, of course, you have to ensure that your hair is nicely moisturized for any protective style that you're doing. And I am massaging my scalp with Okay, okay, okay. I'm still at moisturizing the hair. <laughs> All right, so that's moisturized. And I also saw that I was massaging my scalp with castor oil. I don't really do that anymore. So I'm gonna just skip that step. Now, telling you exactly which style to do your flat twist in is absolutely pointless. So, what I'm going to do is just show you the pattern that I did. And, I mean, have fun with it and do whatever pattern you can do with your own hair. But let me warn you from now, reaching all the way to the back of your head was not as easy as I thought it would have been. It, took, it just took longer than I thought it would have. But the aim is just to have the hair meet in the center. This never happened to me when my hair was short at all. You know, while doing this style, I actually start thinking to myself and wondering how many owner at home going to actually try this style? I want to know down in the comment section. It, took, it just took longer than I thought it would have. But the aim is just to have the hair meet in the center. If your hair is longer, you could just cane the hair going up. But because my hair is so short, I had to get a bit creative. So what I had done was to plait the first four ends of my flat twist. And that became one, right? Because I had plaited it all together. Then I push it up and in between the next two flat twists, that's above it. Okay, Viviana of 2015. That was pretty creative. Well, you know, I did say in the tutorial, 
if your hair is long enough you could just corner it up and <laughs> my hair is definitely long enough now however I'm gonna try that same little creative method that I did back then and yeah see how it looks so I had to take the first four corners and plait them together to create one big plait so let's do that first I only plait it about two inches down and what did I do next then I push it up and in between the next two flat twists that's above it and that, those made the second and third leg for my plait and then I plait those all together push it up and between the next two and I just continue cutting it up like that because my hair could not just do a regular corner going up this is why I had titled the video full tapered cut because uh, everything at the back looked like it's really flat down on my head and then the front had that you know curly let loose style originally with that top section i was just going to wet it and just make a wash and go kind of style right there with just defining my own curls however i don't know some brilliant voice in my head decided that i would do a permanent set because i mean I've had permanent sitting on my counter for a whole long now, so I might as well try and use them, right? Mistake! I was just so awkward in the beginning, I was getting myself frustrated. First of all, using a Denman brush, that thing is just way too big for the length of my hair right now. Then rolling my short hair onto the perm rods, they were just not, not no, it wasn't getting tight enough and I don't know what I was doing. You see that meltdown and then I remembered I was on camera. So I sucked it up, I turned off the camera, I went and practiced and I came back. Those tears were real. Guys, I was so frustrated at the perm rods that weren't working out for me. And guess what? I still do not like perm rods and I'm not going to be using perm rods today. I just find flexi rods so much easier to grip and roll onto the hair. But that's just me. Let me know in the comment section which one you prefer flexi rods or perm rods. And another thing, I don't even use the Denman brush anymore. If I'm going to use a brush to detangle, I'm going to be using the paddle brush. And because I want the curls really, really tight, I am rolling the hair on top of itself. Yeah, I applied a perm rod to the front of my hair just for nostalgia's sake, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna tie up my hair with my scarf and I'm gonna sit under the dryer and also allow my hair to air dry completely okay we don't want no frizzy curls in the morning we don't want any frizzy curls in the morning frizzy curls in the morning good morning <laughs> so now i think i hope my hair is completely dried and ready to finish styling i then added some shea butter to my fingertips and started to separate and just separate 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 Ooh, i feel moisture this isn't dry oh no 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 i have to go back under the dryer mm -mm. nope okay i'm back um i opened up the ends of the flexi rod a little bit to allow more air to circulate through the curls so it can dry but this is the absolute longest i can allow my hair to dry right now so i'm gonna hope it's dried enough and uh, yeah yeah wish me luck <laughs> that first one is dried one curl that just was absolutely not dried any at all <sighs> yeah if I had one more hour just one more hour under the dryer <sighs> sure so since I am trying to get the look of a tapered cut I'm going to just take advantage of that and all the pieces that are not completely dried I'm gonna tuck them under 
and you know try and salvage the situation yeah man if these curls were all dried damn chaman oh but i think we got the vision and for our first bin hair done that i think i did a pretty good job what do you think Okay beauties, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're also looking forward to the other four styles of the Hair Javu series. Thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to share the video and if you're new to my channel, also check out the iCards. I'll have a lot more videos linked up in there so you know. You can get familiar with my channel and what we do around here. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe. Or if this is the first video of mine you've ever watched and you're already in love, you can subscribe. Okay, beauties, later. Mwah. spray it onto my hair no matter what style I do my hair turns out perfect afterwards yes you're gonna relax your edges you know what you're doing right of course I know what I'm doing I used to relax my own hair child I don't mean